Hello all, in this video, I will demonstrate how to use IC Validator Reference Methodology Flow for PV Automation. Once you have the required inputs and ICVRM package in the cloud, untar the contents of the package at a desired location where ICVRM flow have to be executed. User can observe that the package contains an example template of execution form execform.txt global tech xml file which holds all the foundry and job information icvrm the main executable file user manual for reference rm icv scripts folder which holds all the sub modules user have to open icvrm executable file and provide the respective tickle shell path in the first line the user have to install the builds by using hyphen install command line option with icvrm and design name if user is planning for one design pv flow then user can mention the design name in the command line along with icvrm file and install command if user is planning for multiple design pv flows user can mention the design names separated by space within double quotes note that installation is a one step process unless user deletes the design folders the install option creates builds directory in the current working folder which includes design folders and each design folder contain configuration file with the design name which is an xml template where user has to provide necessary design inputs for that particular pv flow after installation of design directories let's start providing the required inputs let's first consider global tech xml file which is available in the main directory in this file the first portion user has to provide foundry run set details which are used only when those particular pv targets are to be executed the other portion is job configuration settings used by all pv flows during icvrm execution an example of full template of global tech xml file where user has to provide inputs between opening and closing tags after providing inputs at global tech xml file now user have to provide inputs in each design xml files based on pv flow targets the input design configuration file is sectioned accordingly user have to provide inputs between opening and closing tags let's consider a drc pv flow example where user has to provide these four minimum inputs that are required to be filled in design xml for icvrm to execute on design state input we recommend the progress of input to start with early state where only basic rules are run as design progresses then change to mature state where basic and voltage diagnostic rules are executed at the end use sign off state where all rules that is complete drc flow will be executed similarly for lvs there are minimum set of inputs to be required to be filled in design xml among these inputs top sub circuit name lvs equi file and lvs user source me file are optional please check user manual for the detailed information and required inputs of each pv flow targets once the inputs are provided in global tech xml file and design xml file next step is to edit execution file in the main directory in this file i'm providing execute drc as i'm executing only drc pv target with the design name now let's execute the flow by using hyphen e command line option along with icvrm executable file and execution file created by user the execution process starts by providing required information and begins validating inputs once the inputs are validated execution of pv target flow is continued user can observe the icv command line used by icvrm to execute drc flow after completing icvrm execution message will be displayed as job submission through icvrm completed successfully user can observe the status of the job in the log file or icv related files in the icv date stamp pv flow directory for example during validation process if there are any errors found in the input files provided by user icvrm will display them on terminal and will abort execution of that particular pv flow target for that design the same information will also be available in the icv date stamp log file the log messages are divided into info warn and error for easy debug during execution process 
if there are significant errors in the inputs provided by user, then an ICV error file will be created in the main directory with all the details required. Execution form is a text file created by user which holds all the PV targets to be executed. We know if there is one PV target to be executed, we provide execute PV flow target and design name. ICVRM allows the user to have multiple flow targets like if there is no data dependency, then user can provide multiple designs at a go by providing letter P in the third column of execution form. If there is data dependency and user has to execute merge, fill, DRC and LVS on a single design, then user can opt for serial flow where third column is blank. Note that only one design is allowed in serial flow. So in short, execution form consists of three columns where first column is PV target flow, second column is the design name which is case sensitive and third column is run mode to define whether serial or parallel flow execution. After creating the execution form according to the user requirement, the user can follow the next step of execution process of ICVRM using hyphen E command line options. Thank you for watching the video.